a baller, a python shot collar. Hi, this is Kelly and Courtney from the Baltarium. Um, today we're going to touch base on you want to be a breeder. You want to breed ball pythons for money. So when you're into this, you want to make sure that first of all that you buy your animals from a reputable breeder. Breeders. So the main thing you're looking for as far as pastels, which is your you know, a little bit above normal, but a very, very positive color morph that you're going to want to use in it is pastel. So, a good example of the pastel and what you want to look for. This is from Brian Barczyk. She's not far from going back into shed again. As you can see, she's a very bright yellow. In pastels, you always want to try to make sure that you get your brightest colors. She's a little itchy sometimes. Um, you always want to try to get your brightest colors. This is uh, still a juvenile, not very old. Um, so, she don't get handled as much as a lot of our other ones, like my first ones we bought and whatnot. We'll see him later on. Um, but this is one of the, you know, main color morphs and whatnot that you want to get into because they make very beautiful snakes. So, then we have another one. What did we name her, by the way? Her name is Eve. I try to keep a lot of my names into biblical form because so many people call snakes devils and stuff like this. This is still God's creature just like you, me, and everyone around you. Everything around you. There is no creature that was made by the devil. Hang on a second, getting another one out. I don't want to handle this one too, too much. As for he just ate. This is one of the morphs. He's a little snippy sometimes. This is one of the morphs such as like we showed y'all on the first video. A spider morph. Now, this one's not much like the other one I showed y'all. Um, this one does have a little bit more of the head twitch and whatnot. Um... So, and what is that caused by the head wobble? It's a neuro neurological disorder. Like you can see him right now. He kind of has corkscrewing. His head kind of starts shaking. Stuff like that. But he eats great. Matter of fact, his ate earlier. Not a problem one. I love these snakes. They're very beautiful. They almost do something kind of like... Um, Looks like webbing. Right, like spider webbing. Also, they look like the uh, lesser jeans, how they do the fading at the bottom side of it. They're very beautiful snakes. Not all, Now, he is not going to be one of our breeder balls. He is our pet. Because, also, when you're getting into breeding, especially with these, if you have one that's more into the head wobble and all, it's more likely to go through with the genes when you're breeding. So, when you're going to go breed these, you want to make sure that you get the best quality that you can get. Cheaper is not always bad, never. The cheaper you get <coughs> a more, usually the more muddied out the color is going to be. So, with those two snakes I just showed you, makes a very beautiful snake, which I've showed y'all in video one our introduction but I'm going to bring him back out just cause he's that beautiful this again is called a bumblebee this is a pastel spider as far as head wobble and corkscrewing and all that he has very little whatsoever of a corkscrew he'll kind of tilt a little to the right but it's not that bad not as the first the second snake I just showed you but as you can see very beautiful snake. Now, this snake was actually hatched from very reputable breeder, mom and dad. The mom and dad both is from Brian Barchett. 
This is a pastel and spider. When you're doing these, if you get the spider that has more fading at the bottom, then when you breed them with something and cross that, then you're going to have more fading. If you're yellow, your pastels are very bright yellow, then you're going to have very, very bright yellow in your snakes like you see with this one. This is a very, very beautiful example of a great quality. A lot of things people like to look for is with the web line going all the way down to the bottom. Some of them don't do that. Some of them will just have to go halfway. Another thing I like in some of my spiders is the alien heads. This one has some, but it don't have a lot of the keyholes. He don't have a whole, whole lot of them. I mean, he has a few. So therefore, as I breed him out, you won't have a lot of keyholes. I, the less keyholes for me, I like that some better. But that's just me. So, I mean, even if they have keyholes, a lot of people don't feel the same way I do. So that's fine with me too. But this is great examples of what you get when you have a good quality snake to breed from. Do you have any questions? And in comparison, you can kind of see the difference. This um, snake and also the snake before also have the spider gene. And so the spider gene, you can see the difference in the animals. He does have somewhat of a head tilt, but he is not as bad as the other spider morph that we had. So at the end of the day, it's about, you know, like he said before, quality breeding, know who you, know who you get your snakes from. Um, know where they came from because at the end of the day it's going to make all the difference in the quality of snake that you have and that you've hatched and that you're you know going to pass on um but that's about it for me just loving um being here and being able to take care of all these awesome animals and awesome creatures as i used to be petrified you wouldn't catch me in a room with a snake of this caliber because i thought it was something that could you know do harm to me and in reality by learning and watching Brian, Kevin McCurley um, from Nerd, um, and, why, and watching Brian Barcheck from the Reptarium, I learned that these snakes are no, they're, they're more scared of, of me than, um, you know, than I am of, the, uh, you know, the, I, they're more scared of me because they see something that's totally huge and, you know, and they want to get, just get away. So at the end of the day, it's about knowledge, it's about education. And making sure you know what you're talking about when it comes to these animals and creatures. Now, she was talking of Kevin McCurley. He is the foundation of the spider gene and many, many morphs and genes. Him, Brian Barczyk, um, Bob Clark. These are all our major founders in this. Um... Back when they started this, um, I mean, a lot of these snakes was going like a pinstripe. Matter of fact, Brian Barczyk brought in the first ones, $25,000 a snake. When you get into that, you know, people was going out here using these snakes. They were mortgaging their mansions and paying off two mansions off of mortgaging their mansions for these snakes, and that's how this all got started. But you know, we all getting started late in the game. So like I said, there's never no too late. It's a high demand, and you know, it's like painting, but with snakes, it's beautiful. Now, if you wanna get more education, this is from Kevin McCurley. This ball pythons in captivity. It's the Professional Breeder Series. You can go to their website, New England Reptile Distributors. You can order these and whatnot. Plus, you can order snakes from there. Um, this is a great item to put in your uh, breeding projects, to have in your place of business, to stay referenced and studied on. Um, it's one of the foundation books that you really need if you're ever thinking about housing one of these animals. You need to know what what environment and how to feed them. I've seen so many people on Facebook forums. What do I what do I feed the snake? 
And at the end of the day, it's about educating. They're feeding, you know, you know, when to, you know, move up to, to rats. And, you know, some of these snakes I've seen live on, on mice their whole entire life. It's highly unnutritional for that snake. And it can stunt their growth. So, actually, this book gives you a ton of knowledge on where you need to be before you even purchase a ball python. So, it's, it's good reading. Now, with this, Kevin's not, I'm not being paid by Kevin. No, I, I'm not trying to push any sales, make any money off of him. None of this. I'm not asked to bring his name or anything else in it. I'm doing this because anybody who wants into this line of business, you want to go to our founding fathers in this. You want to study them because they know what they are doing. They were set, they're making $300,000 clutches. They're doing it themselves. And those are the people I want to kind of be like, but I want to do my own thing with my own snakes, with my own passion. So, but Brian Barczyk, he is great. Our soul, our, how would I put the, um, the main objective that we're trying to do right now is basically the same thing as Brian Barczyk. He is for education. What he's done with the Reptarium is beautiful. And that's my future goal. That's where I want to go. That's what I want to do. I want to build something like the Reptarium because down here where we're at, we have nothing like this where you can go and play with snakes and get education. And that's what I'm trying to do for my family and for the family all around my whole community. I want to teach and I want to get other people to love these animals the same way I do and Brian does, Kevin does. And if you're watching these videos, then I can only say the same way you do. So with that said, um, our videos, they will be a little better as we go. This is my third time of doing a video with me. So, um, there again, uh, give us time. We'll grow. I know most of the time when y'all are watching videos, y'all are already watching people who's way beyond already over half built their whole thing. So you're watching from the very beginning. You're going to watch us where we're just starting. We have how many ball pythons? Ten. Ten ball pythons. So, with that said, y'all are going to watch us start from the ground up and grow. We actually have twelve, excuse me. Yes, twelve. Um, so, y'all ain't going to catch us in the middle of this. Y'all ain't going to catch us after we done struck rich. I'm taking this from where I'm broke, I'm going broke, by doing what I'm doing and what I love. These snakes is what I love. I'm doing what I love. This is my passion. And you're going to watch from the ground up if you want to watch. So please, please like, share, and subscribe. And back to my wife. Also, another reason why we are doing the snakes is to help fund our our fur babies. We have fur babies outside. We have drop off. We just had a drop off of a cat this past week. Um, you know, we get drop offs all the time. So we have a lot of animals that come in and out of our care. We're a rescue for those um, you know dogs in need. We have seven um, pit bull pit bull mixes at our place right now. Plus we have iguanas. Plus we have bearded dragons. So you'll see a lot of that on our channel. And we want to, you know, geckos. geckos. We, we 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 care about every animal, um, you know, and we, Fish. yeah, and we want to bring you along on our journey, and to show you the animals um, that we have rescued. That you know, they're on my page on Facebook. Make sure you go and um, check us out on Facebook, Ron's Baltarium. It does not have the rescue after it. It wouldn't allow me. But we're Ron's Baltarium on Facebook. We're Ron's Baltarium on Instagram. And um, if anybody has any questions, our um, email is up. Shoot us, you know, all the questions you would like, what you would like to see. Comment um, on, you know, if you need help with something, reach out. We're always there. But back to my husband. Um, yes, that's the most important thing. Um, all of this is mainly to uh, this whole YouTube. 
is not just to educate. The, our number one goal with this whole entire YouTube, every like, every view, every subscription, totally goes everything that we make off of this and trust me we're not making nothing yet we ain't even had enough views to even think about a dime off of this <laughs> yet um but everything we do everything we make is totally for the rescue this is not to rescue me and buy me ferraris and lamborghinis i would not drive it to begin with i love old beat up used cheap cars they last longer than any lambo and if i break down i'm gonna spend a hundred dollars at the max and rebuild my car so it's not to buy porsches and lamborghinis and mansions i do not like none of that i like modular homes on a little nice piece of land i'm not picky at all the only thing i care about is my family my family of pets and animals and rescues plus my wife and children that's my only goal to take care of in life mainly and to educate educate um too many people out here killing these snakes i just went down here i've got photos where somebody went down here and killed a totally harmless king snake at a creek right down the road from us it's sad i mean you go on his property you kill him in his land the same thing as walking to a man's house killing him quit killing these snakes please if you won't read of it and you're somewhere around me, call me. I'll come get them away. Um, they're not going to hurt you. They don't want nothing to do with you. Um, but please, please like, share, subscribe. Um, like I said, anything that y'all want questions on, anything y'all want to see, please leave us a comment. Well, right now, we're so far new, we don't even get comments yet. Um, we have our emails. Um, Facebook, Instagram, so shoot us some sort of message. Let us know what you want to see, the content that you want to know, um, questions, whatever. Um, I personally would like to see him eat the toe of Satan here in a couple <laughs> days. So we, so we, we might be doing that video as just like a cool video, um, just to see how he can do. Um, I have the gummy bear challenge uh, saved at one point, but I don't know where it's went. It's on my phone. But um, we, uh, we're gonna do fun things like that too. So it's going to be a mix of education, a mix of mixture of fun, mixture of you know what goes on in our daily life. So uh, enjoy us, you know, stay with us for the ride, and um, thank you for everything, and God bless. Thank you. Have a great night.